Coach Grahalis. Welcome back south, man. Is, hey, is it humid and warm enough here for you in uh, Georgia? Yeah, as you can tell, I'm sweating a little bit already. We haven't even started the session, so uh, I'm getting a little used to it, but uh, you know, uh, I enjoy the heat. So you guys, you come down from, and you fly down from St. Louis. Mm -hmm. S-I-U, hold on, S-U-I-E. S-I-U-E. Right? <laughs> I didn't do it right. I messed it up. But you guys are about 25 minutes out of St. Louis, right? Yep, we have about 25 minutes uh, east of, uh, of the city. Um, real easy flight for me to get down here to Atlanta, you know, about an hour and a half. Uh, so not a bad trip at all. You know, we talk about recruiting. We talk about getting guys. You guys, Rosadori got it done two years ago for you guys. Kind of kept the door in. Had a great national tournament. You're on staff then, but you know you want you want your next Rosadori, right? <laughs> you're looking for that next guy. When you come to a recruiting event like this, you know you're you're the top guy in the country coming out of high school. You know you're you're the guy. It was you and David Taylor, I remember. <laughs> and, and you know coming out being a touted recruit, it's a lot different than the guys you're looking for where you guys are, right? What are you guys looking for when you're looking for? Recruits? Um, you know, it's hard because uh, there's, there's a lot of different aspects uh, and, uh, you know, a big thing for us is getting guys that, that want to be national champions, want to be All-Americans, um, you know, and so when we come out to things like this, you know, what we're looking for is are, are the guys that are that are really uh, genuinely interested and curious uh, with the technique or, you know, things like that, that, that aren't just here to be here. You know, they're, they're here trying to learn, trying to get better um, on, on top of having the, the abilities themselves. You know, looking at your career, you know, it was we're always waiting. We're always waiting. When's this, when's it going to turn the corner? When, when's Grahala's going to get it done, right? And that was something that, you know, there was a lot of pressure on you, I felt, mm -hmm. like in Michigan, right? But, you know, finally you got it done. You take third in the country as a, as a senior. What's that pressure like, and how do you, like, what do you tell? Like, how do you relate to a kid who's probably feeling a lot of pressure, who is, uh, you know, probably a good, a big recruit, coming in, and maybe they're not having the career they want to have. How do you relate to that now as a, as a coach from an athlete? Yeah, you know, it's an interesting dynamic. Um, you know, you're taking these these young men that are anywhere from 18 to 20 years old. You know, the first couple of years in college, um, and like you said, there there is a lot of pressure. Um, and for me, I struggled a little bit in those middle years in college, um, but I really started to turn the corner around junior towards the end of my junior year, uh, senior year uh, at the beginning. Um, but a big thing for me was was understanding what why I was doing what I was doing. You know, and I had I had kind of gotten into this uh, cycle of, of just you know focusing so much on winning and, and succeeding and lost a little bit of uh, why I was doing that you know so I, so I started to turn my focus and to really start to try and have fun with it enjoy what I'm doing enjoying every moment every every victory for what it was every loss for for a, a learning experience and so I you know for me you know something I, I try to um, relate to the guys I have now and the, the incoming guys is you know what we do is hard you know, there's not many things that are as hard in life as college wrestling, especially at the D1 level. Um, so, you know, I, I want I want them to constantly remind themselves of why they're doing what they're doing. You know, are they, are they having fun? Are they enjoying it? Are they, you know, uh, looking at it the right way? And if they're not, you know, maybe take a step back and re rethink how they're going about things. So, you know, I look at a guy like you. I can tell you my nephew, he really likes being a coach more than he likes being an athlete. Would you say that's true for you? Do you like being a coach more than you like being an athlete? That's a tough question, uh, to be honest. You know, I going into coaching, I had no idea what to expect. You know, go, throughout my career as an athlete, I never expected a coach. You know, it just wasn't something that I really had uh, uh, had a thought of. Um, and then when my, when this opportunity presented itself, you know, like I said, I, I didn't know what to expect. I um, uh, had a contract to the end of the school year. I was a late hire, you know, like an emergency hire kind of thing. Um, and I figured I'd just give it a chance. Um, so I went, started it, and right away I fell in love. Um, you know, so to say that I enjoy it more might be a little bit of a stretch, but it's it's real close. You know, I don't I don't know which one I, I would really prefer. Um, you know, there's some days that, that I much rather be the coach. You know, when I when I've seen guy, our guys succeed and seeing them achieve what they're trying to achieve. Um, but other days, I'm, I'm sitting in the corner, man, like, man, I, I, I wish I was out there. I wish I could help them. You know, I wish I, it could be me. You know, I, I understand what I should do in this situation kind of thing. And so I still get that itch a little bit sometimes. Um, but like I said, I, I enjoy it a lot. So the, the Grahalises are like totally exceptional people. I learned this last <laughs> night. What's your sister do? My sister's a lawyer. Your sister's a lawyer. And what's Caesar do? Uh, Caesar is running my, uh, helping run my family business. Uh, He's a Wharton School of Good Business grad. Yes. And now you got you. What do you? What you know? Like, what do you think ultimately? You didn't know if you wanted to do this, right? So yeah. now, where do you go from here? Do you want to be a head coach? Do you want to go work in the business? What do you want to do? Um, 
I'm not too, too sure yet. You know, I'm, I just finished up my second year as a coach, um, and for the time being, this is what I want to do. You know, I can't really say what I want to do down five, ten years down the line, just because I don't feel like I really have had enough experience uh, with this yet to know if this is what I want to make a career of. But it's definitely something I've been considering a lot more lately. Now that I really am starting to enjoy it, um, you know, I, I'm just trying to figure out if this is if this is the career path I want to take, or if I want to. Uh, you know, you maybe use this as a springboard for something else. Um, but luckily at, at SIUE, they have a, a great, uh, great system. You know, I, if I wanted to, I could, you know, get try to get my master's in, in, uh, in a, a field that would help the coaching or a, a different field if I wanted to lead it into something else. Okay, I'm stealing a lot of your time. You got to put your shoes on. You're still, we're ro probably going to see some unconventional Eric Corrales <laughs> things. Maybe we'll get to see the slow walk back to the center. I don't know. Had a great night, uh, good night with you last night. Um, you got anything else for me? Uh, nope. Uh, go Cougars, man. Hey, good luck moving forward. Talk coach Bates, I said hi, and I'm going to enjoy some technique, all right? All right. Thanks, man.